If you're an information junkie like me and are looking for a way to generate analytics on your Gmail activity, then this video is for you. This video will show you a couple of ways to get information on your Gmail usage. One way is more detailed than the other, but both are free. This is called the account activity, and this shows you the activity on your entire Google account, which includes your Gmail activity. And to get there, you have to log into Google whether it's through your Gmail account, AdWords, whatever. And right now I've already logged into my Google account and up here in the top right corner, I'm gonna click on my username. It's gonna open up this little box here, click on account. Over here on the left sidebar, under account, you wanna click on the link account activity. You may be asked to provide a password or it may take you directly to your account activity page. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password, click on sign in. And here is the account activity for my entire Google account. And to get to the Gmail stuff, depending upon what all you have on your Google account, you just scroll on down until you get to Gmail. And as you can see, there's no activity found here because, well, this is a dummy account. But if there were, it may look something like this, where it would have the email sent, emails received, and most contacted. Now, again, this is not as detailed as this next method. So let's go ahead and dive into the second and more detailed method. The second and more detailed method is using a third-party service called Gmail Meter. And you can get here by going to gmailmeter.com. Now there's actually a couple of different ways you can use this service and I'm gonna describe both of them. The first way is signing up directly through the actual gmailmeter.com site. And I'm gonna do that first by going to get started right here on the front page. And there's a lot of information up here too, like for example, checking out their FAQs. Let's go ahead and click on get started. You have to provide them authorization to get access to your Gmail account. So you do that by clicking on accept. And then this page pops up where you can actually click on build my report. Then it will go through your Gmail account and build your report and then send an email to that Gmail account with the results. And here's an example of the results that you may get. But this just gives you an idea as to what to look forward to. So that's one way. Now let's head on over to my Gmail account. And let's go ahead and close this out. Log into my Gmail. I've already logged into my Google account, so I'm just going to go to the Gmail link. And this is a report that I did earlier. And since this, again, is a dummy account, there's not enough emails in that account to create a report. But I'm going to go ahead and show you, first off, how to deactivate the authorization because I want to show you the second way and what I consider to be a better way to use Gmail Meter. So let's go ahead and head on into my account. Come on down to Security. Down at the very bottom, Connected Applications and Sites. Click on Review Permissions. And right up here at the top, of course, depending upon how many you've authorized will depend on how many are up here, but I've only authorized Gmail Meter. So I'm going to revoke access to both options here. Okay, so now then let's head on into our Gmail account. Now at this point, I'm going to use Gmail Meter, but I'm going to do so through a spreadsheet that I'm going to create within Google Drive. Come on up here to Drive, click on Create, Spreadsheet, go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and name this one Gmail Meter. Now then come on up here to Tools, click on Script Gallery. And here you want to type in Gmail Meter, and then click on Search. Now then click on Install, and they're going to go through the authorization process as before. Go ahead and click on Authorize. Scroll on down, click on Accept, and we're good. Click on Close, and up here in the menu bar, you're going to see Gmail Meter on your spreadsheet. At this point, click on Gmail Meter, click on Get a Report. Two options are going to pop up, Monthly Report, or custom report. You click on this one, then it will go ahead and generate a report based on the last month. Click on custom report and you're able to customize it based on whatever date range you put in here. So the report will be the same just depending upon the date range you put in here for the custom or the other option, get it for the month, will be for the last 30 days. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and put in the beginning date, ending date, click on start, but since this is a dummy account, there's not going to be a report generated because there's not enough activity. But I just want to go through the process to kind of show you what will take place. Go and click on close. And you can see here it's working. Depending upon the amount of activity it's having to go through to generate the report would depend on if it's going to take three minutes or an hour and a half before Gmail Meter sends an email to your Gmail account saying your report is done. Now, if after 30 minutes to an hour or so, you still have not received an email, 
notifying you that either, like in my case, there's not enough information to generate a report or that you have a report, then what you might want to do is go ahead and check out your Google Drive by clicking on this link here, which would bring you to this page. And then you would click on the spreadsheet that you had just created earlier to see if in fact that information has been populated on that spreadsheet. And it would look just like this, except it would have numbers and information in here. Because this email address is a dummy account, there's no information on here except for the titles. And there's two sheets. This sheet here that would give you the email addresses of the people that are sending you emails, number of emails received by them, and the number of emails that you sent to them. There's also a second sheet with more information that would give you the dates of those emails days of the week, thread IDs, and so on. I'm sure you'll agree with me that this method is the best of the two. And that's gonna bring us to the end of this video on generating analytic reports for your Gmail account. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.